Ke Jive Klapono Mondra Tife Phila. It was Isaiah 55 verse 1 that said, Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. All you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Lord, tonight we come to you. We do not have money to buy that which you have offered us freely. It is out of your benevolence, out of your kindness, out of your love, out of your goodness, out of your mercy that you have summoned us here tonight. It is by instruction, by your instruction that we have gathered here tonight. We ask that the full import and deluge of your grace and presence, such as the heavens, have ordained for this gathering and for this meeting be released upon each and every one of us tonight in the name of Jesus. You have given us instructions to gather. Lord, we ask that the full importance of your grace and your presence that you have ordained and that the heavens have met and decided that we'll be released upon your people tonight grant that each and every one of us be a partaker of 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 that delivery in the name of jesus we have prayed amen you are all welcome <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited the last couple of days have been hectic for me right i've been with my father apostle and he's been in town for a couple of meetings and i've just been there serving as the bible will say washing his feet <laughs> that's idiomatic but i'm glad to be here again and we are about to fly no, the kingdom of god is not designed to have superstars but it's designed to have super servants <laughs> you see it was jesus that revealed unto us the protocol of greatness in this kingdom Whereas, if you are going to be great in the world, you will need to, you know, um, get some good reviews, probably have a great product, do some influence videos and photos here and there. <laughs> you know, you have to take pictures with the, you know, other celebrities, to maybe do a skit where you objectify a woman because that's what people want to see these days, right? Or you provide people a means to make money whether legal or illegal and you do all kinds of stuff basically all right and then the point comes that you do that consistently enough for you to amass just enough reviews and rating from people until you become renowned quote and unquote for doing what you do but in the kingdom uh, you see it is a different ball game because in the world all of that that i just mentioned was done or will normally be done with selfish interest selfish interest in other words the goal is self-gratification the goal is self um upliftment self-preservation that's the goal in the world but the kingdom has a different route the kingdom has a different route or a different protocol the protocol of greatness in the kingdom of God as revealed by Jesus is he that will be great amongst you. Let him be your servant. He that will be great among you, let him be your servant. So the kingdom, as I said, is not designed to have super stars, but what? Super servants. And I'm using the word super not because of that's not a biblical term just so that you can understand the comparison and contrast that I'm trying to make for you to understand. And what I mean by that, I said that to say this, that what you see man do, right? Of course, that's, that's kind of expression. I mean, in the, in the kingdom of God, or you see a person do, it should be honored, it should be celebrated. But then again, it should also be a means of let me say encouragement it's 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 actually tutelage by the holy ghost when you see god use a man greatly 
god is actually teaching a generation via that man's ministry and when i say man i mean male or female via that person's ministry god is teaching a generation about the possibilities that abound in his spirit by his spirit you know part of what we are going to look at not today but in the course of school of the spirits i'm going to introduce it shortly i just have a boarding to check quickly part of what we are going to learn about is the speakings of god you know john 4 24 says for god is a spirit let's just take that a part as it were for god is a spirit and the implication of god being a spirit is that think about everything that you do as a man right or rather in your body because man is spirit plan body sad the sad part is that most people are more conscious of their body or their soul than their spirit but our god is fully spirit and the implication of that is that if we are going to understand him we will need to understand for instance if you want to talk you use your physical mouth you make sounds that travel in air right um and then the air particles or air waves or whatever it's called take those sounds um those your sound signals from your mouth and the ear of another person is able to translate the sounds that you are making it is that if if not for the fact that you have an ear that is able to interpret sound waves all these things that we're doing it does not make sense because you have over time learned how to align your tongue your mouth your teeth and every every part of your you know your vocal cords to make sounds and and because it, it has been consistent over the cause of humanity we are able to say that when you say when you make your mouth when you make your mouth make a movement like come the word that we hear is come and we interpret it as an instruction to approach the source of the word come <laughs> thank you holy ghost but that, you see that is done that is done in the flesh but now says god is a spirit so if you understand your neighbor because for instance when you go into a foreign land and you want to ask for navigation you ask somebody where is the for instance no no not necessarily a foreign land maybe you leave lagos and go to ibadan you are more like you're more likely more than likely to find somebody who speaks english right maybe six out of ten people are fluent in english language and you ask someone where is um capital road i can't remember what they call one popular place in ibadan where is, let's 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 invent a road where is capital road that guy understands what you are saying you don't have, you need to have prior relationship with him for him to understand what you have to say but now how does spirit speak he says for god is a spirit god is a spirit you see that is one of the it, it is obvious but we have really not comprehended what it fully truly means for god to be a spirit because if we do how we pray will change how we interact and interface with god will change we're not going to do a study but i'll make you ask some questions i will take you back to the bible tonight because many of us we try to relate with god on an emotional standpoint so i'm going to ask a question you don't need to don't respond to me here you take it back to the place of study and we'll, we'll um, eventually look at these things in the bible does god or do spirits have emotion for instance, you are crying and say, Lord, I count this law. Help me. If you not me, I could die. You know, you are, you are trying to threaten God with your situation using emotion. So is that the way to communicate with a spirit? <laughs> For instance, I'm helping you think. Don't forget. You go back and you study and we'll do a corporate study together as time unfolds. How do spirits hear? Or understand stuff how do spirits eat how do spirits because a, a vital aspect of him of 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 um of life form is sustenance 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 you know something the bible reveals in the book of psalms it says bless the lord ye is angels that excel in strength that grow in strength who do his commandments in the book of psalms <laughs> He says blessing the lord so the part of what sustains the angelic is the doing of the commandment of god and that is why they are crazy about obeying god it's it's fixed into their dna and that is similar to how heaven operates because even jesus made a statement <laughs> he said my food is to do the will of my father <laughs> my food is to do the will of my father that's what jesus said 
and then the angels the bible reveals that they grow in strength as they do the commandment of god hmm. put on your thinking cap tonight christianity is logical we we do not assume it's all in the bible and we can think through as much as we speed it our way through as well right because even paul was speaking and he said in philippians 1 is that verse 17 now it says be ready to give a defense for your faith and that the word defense is where the word apologia is the word apologia where the word apologetics come from that means you can defend your faith and in defending your faith it's obvious that the party that is offend that the offensive party is more more than likely not somebody in your faith there is the apologetics that is for christians there is apologetic that is for unbelievers whereas one is to convince a sect the unbeliever or the agnostic or the atheist of the existence of god but for the believer we need to strengthen the faith of that believer to let um yeah the defense of the gospel to we need to strengthen the believer to be acquainted with the facts and figures of christianity it strengthens the faith so that you know you're not just praying to a dead god all right but this is not this is not an apologetics class so this is just a way of introduction and we're still we're still getting somewhere so like i said when you see a person do stuff the idea is that you that you should have is that this thing is replicable across board so what you are probably seeing is just a super servant as it were i'm using that word to contrast the earthly ideology of a superstar that is somebody who is distinguished and celebrated because he or she is known for a particular cause you know of action or skill or whatever we are distinguished in the kingdom by our service by our service by our service part of what we will look at in the school of the spirit is kingdom service and I will, we need to look at that because how do you serve a spirit <laughs> your dad wakes up in the morning and he shouts where is my food you go into the kitchen and in some part of the world the man who starts with pounded yam and confirm it leaf soup you know starts with that uh, and if that is not ready if he has not heard the sound of a motor in the morning then there is likely to be tension in that house till whenever the man goes out so but in order to quench the tension and, and to appease the man you pound the arm and put soup and go and give him and you serve him you know spreads his legs washes his hands and begins to enter the matter but how do you please a spirit <laughs> there is an extreme right that says that god is already pleased with the believer that is actually true and i'm saying that because the, the sacrifice of jesus was strong enough to settle uh, or bridge the gap of enmity that sinful mankind had with the holy god now that is one side but there is the organic reality that says you know how in the book of philippians paul speaking he says for it is god that worketh in you you know the, the, the preceding verse says um work out your salvation with fear and trembling the next verse says that god works in you to will and to do of his good pleasure that means that there is the pleasure that god has derived from you because you are saved and then there is also the pleasure that god wants to derive from you through the in working of his spirit through the in working of his spirit all right so there is the pleasure that you have that a god has received from your life just by your status as a son having his the seal of his spirit by the blood of jesus that is the priesthood of jesus i i, I know i don't have time to go deep into this this is not my focus i'm just gliding on this tangent by the holy ghost for somebody who is listening ah, you see the holy ghost is revealing to me that there are so many several persons who have come to this meeting because you were expecting that we are just going to be meeting needs from beginning to the end no no that's not what we are going to do tonight and many other nights yes the holy ghost is benevolent and as much as possible we would re re release his power to do things do stuff you see but the instruction 
behind this meeting is to teach men to be acquainted with the spirit and his ways god wants to raise a generation of people of young believers that understand the person and the purpose of the holy ghost he wants to equip us with the holy ghost and with fire so that we can do damage to the kingdom of god in our various localities in our various schools and establishments he wants to equip us with spirit knowledge and spirit power so that we can be accurate kingdom functionaries and ambassadors everywhere that we go you see by way of introduction before today this friday evening meetings were called supernatural corner and we have run with that for a while you know this year we've run with that for a while this year we've run with that for a while this year but now the emphasis is changing and it's 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 this change began through an encounter that i had um that i had sometime okay i think i shared part of this on the group some days before now yeah some days before now. i shared part of it sorry about that some days before now in that encounter the lord brought me before a group of young people and i can share it now because i've, I've taken it to the place of prayer for a long time before today and so what you are hearing is just a purpose of instruction or revelation and then instruction and direction that's normally the cause of events god reveals stuff you begin to pray on that thing that he has revealed and then he gives you an instruction as you begin to obey the instruction direction will come all right you know it says that thy word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path that means if you if your feet are not walking you will not discover that there is direction <laughs> and our feet walks in obedience that, that's a, that's a very strong truth right there i really hope that you would remember that and in that encounter i, I came before a, a bunch of young people a couple actually and more began to come more began to come more began to come more began to come began to grow began to grow began to grow and then the, the theme of that gathering was the spiritual, the spiritual. And the Lord spoke to me and said, begin to teach young people about the spiritual, particularly the prophetic. So we already had a poster, a, 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 a flyer many weeks back. That was titled school of prophets <laughs> but then uh, the more i prayed and the more i stayed on the prayer the lord said it's not only the prophetic so that's going to be a major emphasis right but it's more of uh a spiritual teaching you know i'm still like everyone you are all growing i just know how to ask god and obey him when he speaks so I, I just saw that my my one of my pastors is here pastor jonathan please help me celebrate Help me celebrate Pastor Jonathan Oraka of Renaissance Christian Network. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for joining this season. Such an honor to have you. Such an honor, sir. Thank you so, so, so much. Pastor Joe, I don't know if you can still hear us. I don't know if you're still in the meeting. Yeah, he's still here. Thank you so much, sir. It's such an honor to have you. Thank you so much all right all right okay so we'll just go ahead so like i said um it's 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 a meeting or a series of teachings where the believer will become acquainted with you know like i like i mentioned earlier with the person and the purpose of the spirit with the person and the purpose of the spirit the average christian especially in this part of the world only sees god as an atm machine that god was created just to make you have a good life right just to ensure that you drive the best car marry the best husband or wife <laughs> 
live in the best house and eat the best food so the average believer and many and it's actually really not many people's fault it's just what we receive what most of many of us have received right from the preceding generation we will we, we only imagine only going to church all your life and every sunday the theme of that service is something that has to do with maybe um my 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 night has come or this week is my week or you know an end has come to my struggles does god do, do all of that god he does <laughs> you read through the bible you will discover the benevolence of god right but you see the problem arises when we major on an aspect because the, the fact that god solves problems or meets needs does that make it the sole purpose of his existence or right now, maybe i should not use the word existence does that make it the sole purpose of why he is here it doesn't because when we read through the bible we find a different emphasis we actually find that miracles right are um of course they are divine interventions we find that miracles are byproducts of obedience if we truly read through the bible we will see that miracles are byproducts of obedience you know it was not too long ago maybe one or two days ago that the holy ghost was speaking to me and he told me that it is actually an aberration it's not normal eh, for a believer to be praying constantly every day every day for miracles for miracles we are designed we are not designed to live by miracles but we are designed to live by instructions and on the path of obedience as you begin to grow in obedience you begin to see that god has actually gone ahead of you because in obedience you are fulfilling a the desire of god that is beyond um human what's the word now in, in obedience basically you are fulfilling the desire of god you are bringing god pleasure in obedience you are fulfilling the desire of the king and you cannot do that with the energy of the flesh neither can you do that with the resources of the flesh you can't have a spirit a king spirit eh, with the resources with resources that are mundane so if you have given yourself to obedience and you when you just stay on the path of obedience you can't serve a king spirit with resources that are mundane you can't you can't you see my pastor in lagos roc in lagos he did a series of teachings you know up until last month we call it kingdom tools kingdom tools <laughs> kingdom tools and when we are looking at what kingdom tools are or represent what we are actually looking at are the resources that a spirit has made available for us to bring him a kind a form of service that is acceptable a form of service that is effectual to make us functional in the kingdom because when the spirit gives you instructions it's not because you can do it many of the time it's because that spirit is bringing you to a place of intimacy where you will come back to him and exchange your weakness for his strength and weakness is fine expression in varying layers or degrees and on the account of what the impotence is at time the spirit supplies you know the necessary tool that is needed to make you functional let me get into the crux of the matter so that we can find some perspective before we pray this is an introductory session right so all i'm doing is just this is my welcome address <laughs> my welcome address okay school of the spirit i already told you by instruction the truth is that we started this the teaching in 2016 i believe sasha go has mentioned this before we started this in, in while we started we were running this ministry on campus then called sound of abundance mission all right and then we had teachings sots school of the spirit that we were running over time and the emphasis is still the same to teach men to become functional in knowing the person and the purpose of the spirit and how to align ourselves in destiny to be effective tools in the hand of a great god knowing his expressions knowing his demonstrations 
knowing how to sit down, how to stand, and when to walk away, when to run, on account of the promptings that he is releasing in our spirit. Knowing how to be flexible so that as astronauts explore space, man can explore God. Knowing how to be uh, protean in his hand and, and a versatile in the hand of a great king where he can find a man in us to use when the need arises so that you can be in this in a new town in a new city in a place and suddenly there is a need uh, for a man a kingdom person them to 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 fulfill and god sees us as usable enough right the fact that you are born again does not mean that god can use you or rather that god will use you now, let me let me correct myself not can god can use anybody but the fact that you are born again does not mean that there will be profit in from your life and i say that intelligently from the scriptures there are so many verses i would share one or two the bible says that for in great house there are many vessels all right so there are some unto honor and some unto dishonor listen he says but if any man therefore purges himself he shall be a vessel fit for the master's use if any man therefore so you see let me let's read that scripture that's in um is that first timothy let me just find this quickly let's do a quick study okay that's in the book of um second timothy chapter two second timothy chapter two second timothy chapter two and i'll read from verse number 20 verse number 20 it says but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor look at verse 21 if a man therefore purge himself of these <laughs> because you, you may you might have thought initially that's from just by reading the previous verse alone many people skip context if you had only read the previous verse you would have thought that maybe this guy is trying to be idiomatic he's trying to be um an object he's trying to just you know um, you know say say a poem <laughs> but this is not a poem this is truth that he's trying to reveal a protocol of usability he says that if a man therefore purge himself from these he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meet for the master's use look at now and prepared unto every good work and prepared unto every good work and prepared unto every good work <laughs> so you can be a believer but the extent to which god will use you is to the extent that you have purged yourself and that purging you know ah see the scriptures are opening i will need to actually we will need to do a study so that we can see how does a man purge himself because your your immediate your immediate um your immediate um instincts will be will say by prayer and by fasting that is good you know but that is not just how purging is done let me show you something <laughs> thank you holy ghost in the book of um i believe that is john john chapter we'll do a lot of bible reading we didn't come for take it take it tonight. but the impartation that is going on in your spirit is huge you just need to be sensitive look at verse one this is such a powerful thing the day i read the day i was reading this chapter or one of the days i was reading this chapter as i read verse one the only go says stop and read again because there is this temptation to just read through the bible without really stopping to meditate or to ponder upon matter look at verse one of john 16. it says these things have i spoken unto you why that you should not be offended let me read that in um in um and nlc and then jessica also give me the verse that says sanctify them by your truth thy word is truth i don't know what's wrong with the internet in my house today but god is alive all right now 
in nlt it says i have told you these things so that you will not abandon your faith i have told you these things so that you will not abandon your faith <laughs> we're just going to take that first verse i have told you these things so that you will not abandon your faith that's from nlt all right so approaches give me the other verse give me the other verse the other verse that, that i ask you to send please sanctify them by your truth thy word is truth i actually want us to know where it is okay rather than just guessing sanctify them by your truth thy word is truth thy word is truth okay john 17 17 is that it let's see nope oh yeah 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 that's john 17 verse 17 john 17 verse 17 sanctify them by the truth your word is true when it comes to purging as it were this is not a meeting on purging but when i make a statement the, the onus is on me to give some level of context so that when you are studying you will understand what you're studying about sanctify them in the truth your purpose is make them holy your word is truth for emphasis sake um, precious let's use nlt okay moving forward nlt kj is better moving forward we need to understand what the old king <laughs> said before going into amplif amplification just stay with me oh guys stay with me stay with me it says if any man therefore purge himself the first layer or level of that you must expose yourself to or that you must bring yourself to is exposure to the word of god i'm sure you've already you've already probably already guessed that or picked that up already the first level of purging that you must bring yourself to and that, that, that purging is removal of unwanted you know mindset belief and stuff and i'm using the word mindset not randomly because jesus said i have spoken these things to you so that you will not be caught off guard and fall away falling away or being caught off guard you see this, this, this are, these are matters of the mind these are matters of the mind in, in other words the word of jesus or the teachings of jesus the word of god prepares us and part of preparation is the replacing of of wrong mindsets with new and fresh ones that are consistent with the truth of god's word and that is why in the book of romans 12 paul was speaking he says be not conformed verse 2 to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind transformation of cause and when you hear the word mind what you are actually seeing there is 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 the thought process okay the the thought process the seat of reasoning reasoning the seat of reasoning of a man that's what the word mind means by the renewing it not a renewing of your spirit this is a very specific scripture of verse that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god be not conformed to this world but be transformed Th that is where the true the real warfare is your mind your belief system i was talking with a very good friend this evening and we're looking at something similar how that many times the devil will throw thoughts at you thoughts at you and you might not know that these imaginations are from the devil you see the, the easiest way to identify the work of satan is to know what god is doing to be in step with god let me say that again the easiest way eh, by discernment to know um a thought or a work of the devil is to be in step with god listen if you are maybe for those of you who stay in lagos if you are at let's say you're in lucky phase one and um, you want to go to um let me say ikeja for instance you know it is different when you are trying to make your way without any tour guide hmm? it's different when you are trying to make your way without any tour guide so you probably drive from if you want to drive to uh, let's say um maybe your balance 
get to Obana, then you ask so, for the way to the mainland, and they, they tell you you can either go through 3MB or um, a co-breed based on the time of the traffic situation. And then maybe you now get to a co-breed, and then you now see a diversion. So where do I go? You, you keep on asking. And then if a point comes that somebody tells you to make a U-turn at maybe um, when you get to that stadium roundabout and then go left you, you don't know that you are entering Suru literally in your mind you are going to Bagada whereas that's an entirely different part of Lagos that you are coming into and then you now keep going 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 and finally you find yourself in Abapa and after like two more hours you are in Ghana for instance and you are wondering how did you get to Ghana it's because you did not have a tour guide but if from the moment where you knew your destination being Bagada and you are in Lekki Faisal and you turn on Google map and you put the exact address the first thing it tells you you see an ETA of maybe 35 minutes or one hour whatever the timing is and then you also see a clear path it tells you when to turn left when to turn right it tells you how many meters in uh, you know ahead of you you should make that turn and there might be there might be five turns on your right that seem to all be side by side but the map tells you the exact name of the turning that you should make so that you are not found in the wrong place that is what the word of god does for the believer it, it it's it's the word of god and the holy ghost comes to animate the word of god in our life you see this is why we must know the person and the purpose of the spirit the holy ghost comes to animate the word of god to make it organic in your life so that what you have read is not only just the writing of a book but you, you touch the spirit behind the scripture that dwells in you and begins to give you an organic explosion and expression of the written word of god and when you are faced with circumstances you can by the word know which circumstance is from the lord and which one is from the devil for instance, you will not find anywhere in the Bible where uh, God used sickness to train somebody and say, I will make you sick so that you can pray more. <laughs> you will not find that in the Bible anywhere. And so when you have that, in fact, God, God will not, you see, it's the word of God says a house that is divided against itself cannot stand. So he has already given you gifts of healing <laughs> to prevent or rather to not prevent to um, um to cure or to heal sicknesses then the same god is not making you sick so that means if god makes you sick the gift of healing will not work <laughs> there are so many questions that we should ask but when you understand by the word eh, that that is not the way god operates or thinks when sickness comes you know how to address it appropriately meanwhile not every sickness is from is caused by by a devil but every sickness is because of sin it was sin that caused a crack in the world you know in the world system and on the account of that bible says and death came by sin and that death is not just a cessation of life but the exposed separation from god which brought about the deterior the deterioration <laughs> english of <laughs> of the body of man over time and then sickness became a possibility are you guys still with me? Are you guys still with me? All right. All right. Okay, that's good. Hmm. So, when it says purge yourself, the first stage of purging is by the word. By the word of God. He says, I have spoken unto you these things so that you will not fall away. That means the word of God is a safe heaven hmm, that prevents us from falling away. That means when he says, let he that thinks he stands, take heed lest he fall. To take heed is to be submerged in the word of God. As you give yourself to the word of God, you will discover that there is a force, you know, in the scriptures. There is a force in the word of God that powers all of creation. And if you have not 
giving yourself to the world you might never really know that power experientially you can talk about it you can read about it you can even watch youtube videos and see people who are demonstrating it but you might never see it play out expressively or explosively in your life you must be given given he says be not conformed to this word but be transformed by the renewing that's the word renewing is a present continuous that means today you are renewed tomorrow you are renewed and it's it's a constant process until we are separated from this body and given a new body where we, are, where, we, where we become one with christ until that day there will be the need for each time there is a conflict between what you read in the bible and what you experience it means that there is a need for renewal that there is a need for renewal the bible says that by faith we know that the world were framed by the word of god by the word of god the word of god is the creative force the creative power of god it powers creation it powers stuff when you stay in the world long enough a point comes that the word begins to become organic in your life and what simply means is that you start to see it play out literally in situations in your life for instance in the year 2017 i had this a serious challenge my life had come to a halt because i had uh, you know made some mistakes and i was not sure what next step to take so i began to pray and in that prayer it was, I'm talking, I, this is when i was in school i had some issues you know academically and so i was not sure what what the next step to take was and so in that my prayer when i began to pray after about eight minutes into that prayer the lord brought a scripture before me and this one was a very dramatic experience it's not something something that happens every day it was it was a spectacular encounter all right we're not designed to live by spectacular encounters but every encounter is supernatural okay but this one was spectacular it's like this scripture in the bible a particular scripture in the book of isaiah leaped out of the bible and stood before me just before my eyes and and and, and, and i saw it and in a split second what was written was transmitted as it as it were into my spirit that scripture that says forget ye the former things <laughs> behold i do a new thing and then the one that's the, the verse that said and the wilderness shall become a fruitful vine leaped out and was it's like it was it was injected into my spirit kai immediately unbelief and doubt concerning you know what was to happen or what had happened died on the spot and you know how they say it, how, how 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 paul says in the book of romans that faith cometh by hearing 10 and hearing by the word of god of course that the, the context of that verse was salvation you know but also it revealed the protocol of god how faith comes faith is not naming it and claiming it faith is the supernatural force you know that propels a believer to believe and to do the will of god <laughs> That's what faith is. Propels the man of Christ to believe and to do the will of God. And immediately, as that word came, faith came by the word. And I just knew in that life I will never be small, I will never be broke. And at this this period, I was still living in my parents' house, still depending on them for I was surviving on 10 to 15,000 naira monthly. You know had to just one trouser nothing seemed like anything will ever work in my life at this particular moment i'm not sharing this testimony to make you feel like okay so from grass to grace that's not the purpose don't get me wrong i'm i'm, I'm showing you the protocol of the word of the word there are so many times that a scripture literally just and this is why you must keep on if i had never read that verse i probably would if, if that encounter was not of one of those persons like um how it happened with William Branham that he had never read the Bible, but he was having encounters of you know beings coming to teach him the Bible. That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, I had read the scripture before, and so you must trap the word of God in your heart. This is school of the spirit. We're not going to stick with how to see visions and how to dream. I'm, I'm telling you the foundation of spirit activity. The foundation of spirit activity in the life of a man is the word of God. 
someone needs to write that down the foundation of spirit activity in the life of a man and by man like i said before i don't mean male or female i mean the life of a person is the word of god it's the word of god is the word of god that's the foundation that's the foundation the holy ghost will come and take the substance of god's word and that you have that you have um trapped and stored in your heart and he will begin to use that foundation to stir your life see many people are looking for a prophet to tell them tomorrow you must do this this is what god is saying concerning your life you must do that and that that is good but in the new testament by the ministry of the spirit we can all become the prophets of our own life and if a, a man eh listen let me tell you something a man that or a person that constantly you know ingests the word of god and stays in prayer praying in the spirit and as you're praying in the spirit you are fixing your heart on those words that you have read a point can come in that prayer i.e this is an experiential um uh, uh, you know experience <laughs> that's tautology but you get the point this is experiential when you have been storing the word in your heart and you begin just praying the spirit a particular day and time can come that the holy ghost takes one of those verses and begins to highlight it highlight it highlight it highlight it highlight it highlight it upon your heart and maybe as you are just praying in the spirit without a prayer point and just begin to hear for i have overcome the world so be of good cheer be of good cheer. you see that is a that is a prophecy the prophecy of scripture is the first layer of prophecy that any believer must on must must master how that you don't just open a random verse and say god what are you saying and then you say verse 4 says this no that is foolishness that is full the holy ghost is an intelligent spirit and you insult him and you think he functions like a horoscope that's that the horoscope is a scheme of darkness that is designed to keep men in a perpetual cycle of bad character and of predicted outcomes so that the devil can send demons to manipulate your possibilities if you believe in horoscope let today be the last time and i'm, I'm, I'm oh my god you see somebody's offended that i just said i'm not sorry i just need to let you know that the horoscope eh you left the word of god that the, the creator of the universe himself has given you know for our edification has given to be like a tour guide for us on the face of you left all of that what jesus himself came and taught the apostles the, uh, the, the disciples and they began to give it unto us in epistles the same word that formed the foundation of the earth the bible says that god, in the beginning god um in the beginning was was the word the word was with god and the word was god god is one with the word and so god spoke and the bible said that the worlds were framed by the word of god so the very fabric that formed creation that formed sound space time and matter you left that one to go and read the horoscope that was read that is written that was written by a group of of satanic worshippers that were in tune with with demons and trying to understand the alignment of stars and use that as an account to make the lives of men predictable no no that's not the power of god the horoscope is not the way god has designed that we will come into destiny no he gave his spirit upon the glorification of jesus and on the account of the giving of the spirit men can navigate the path of purpose without the need for a horoscope yes 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 it's a scheme of darkness i will say it anyway and any day it's it's it's, it's a successful plan of the devil Mm, but men are coming out because the truth is coming out and so men will know that the holy ghost is the, that the word is, is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path that i'm not i'm not um, my life is not summarized by a horoscope no but by a holy by, by by the spirit of god and my life is not summarized by the month i was born no that in fact your the month you were born might play zero significance to your purpose and destiny <laughs> listen was there any record in all of the bible that on okay that so they did jesus in fact you see christmas day is, is not well, it, um, 25th of december how are you sure that that's the day he was born 
because that calendar this calendar system did not exist then mm. you mean sometimes we you need to make some research <laughs> you the day you born john is i'm not saying he does not though. there are times that god can come and reveal and say that's a different case but if it was that that was not an emphasis the bible says in luke 4 and verse 18 that he was in the synagogue as his custom was and he opened in the volume of the books to where it was written 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 he didn't say he opened the horoscope and say i'm sagittarius so i'm short-tempered i'm this i'm that kai kai those are fruits of darkness i hate it with passion fruit of darkness no he opened in the volume of the books where it was written concerning him and he said the spirit of god is upon me or oh, he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the broken-hearted yes to preach the acceptable year of the lord that's what jesus said that's what he said that's what he said not horoscope not sagittarius that because i was born in december 25th therefore i'm this now 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 in fact the bible says for this purpose was the son of god made manifest to destroy the works of the devil If you are listening to me right now and you are bound by a demonic cycle because you believe the lie of the devil called horoscope, tonight I speak deliverance over your life and that demon that has latched onto that belief system to make it happen and bring you under a cycle and cycle of of immorality, a cycle and cycle of depression, a cycle and cycle of sickness and bad character. I bring you out of that influence in the name of Jesus <laughs> ah no this is the school of the spirit we, we will learn to discern and to pick that which is of the devil part of what God will do in and in, in your lives via this um, series is that he would equip you with discernment by the word see stay on the word chew the word chew the word of god chew it kai chew it chew the word you know many of you know my spiritual father apostle Aaron Saib. about 5 a.m two days ago we were going to drop him at the airport this man at the front of the car that we were in he was at the front seat he was he opened his bible and he was reading that early in the morning i said what am i doing with my life you see that man has challenged me oh no i didn't choose this life <laughs> the life i'm living by 5 a.m and i'm he didn't sleep the night before he was praying he was praying through the night by 5 a.m he was already reading the bible on his phone on his way to the airport <laughs> go for the word go for the word go for the word go for the word you can never outgrow the word because heaven and earth shall pass away but the word shall remain that's what the bible says the word shall remain for everyone listening to me who is struggling with bible study grace to carry long in the place of study receive it now you see so i made that prayer the was reviewed an instruction in the school of the spirit you will learn that many times you need to know this many times the grace of god is powered by instruction if you follow me on twitter you probably see most of all these things most of my tweets eh, at least eight to nine if not ten out of ten are powered from conversations i have with the holy ghost or i had some of those tweets are as old as five six seven years into the past some are some of them are on the spot I said instruction is the powering factor of grace. Many times, when God wants to make him know that there is a particular grace at work in you, he will give you an instruction. In fact, this is foundational because in the book of Mark, um, Mark 16 and verse 17, the Bible says, yeah, Mark 16, 17, I believe. It says, and this sign shall follow them that believe in my name. They will cast out devil in my name they will speak with new tongues in my name they will take up and drink poisonous fluid 
you shall not harm them in my so the casting out of devils if you are locked up inside your room and all you have in your room is television wardrobe table and chair you will be casting out devils from your wardrobe <laughs> are you going to be casting out devils from your, your maybe your air condition is cold so the, the air is needs to be on fire so every spirit of coldness out is that what you are going to be doing no instruction is the power ring factor of grace many times when a man has been endued with grace and this guy is not does not know he might not even know it what god will do is that he will come and give you an instruction and say go and do this go and do that and as you begin to do the first thing you will see actually is not easy it's not the grace you will first of all discover that there is a challenge <laughs> you discover that there is an there is an inward um incapacity in this world like that that you are unable to do that thing and the response of a wise man is to take that that infirmity of impossibility to the place of prayer and say god you've asked me to start this ministry i started and it seems like there is no utterance <laughs> it seems like um i was struggling people are not even coming i i, I, I don't know what to do Baratani. you see if you don't know what to do you you must in life you must always know one thing to do and that is to go back to god you can never go wrong and as you begin to pray and and you know exchange those weaknesses i'm telling you my life oh. as you begin to exchange those weaknesses a time now comes and many times it will not even start it's not be like automatically that one day one day you just go and preach and suddenly you discover that there is utterance no it's not like that but as you keep on staying and staying and staying and continuing in the place of prayer that's well you know in your spirit where grace resides begins to come alive see i want you to hold your belly wherever you are now it's just a symbol hold your belly and say this after me don't type say it after you have um type it after you have said it say that there is there is an enormous supply of grace inside me There is an enormous supply of grace. In just, just don't type here. Just close your eyes and say these words with me. An enormous supply of grace inside me. Just say it with me. Say it with. Close your eyes and say it. Hold your belly. An enormous supply of grace inside of me. God has supplied grace in my spirit by prayer by fasting by obedience to the word i will make it available <laughs> there is a deep well in your spirit a deep well a deep well a deep well you see as i'm speaking now the power of god is coming strong upon somebody <laughs> it's coming strong and this person will begin to scream where they are now is the power of God is here? I saw someone's legs now, and I saw your both of your feet, and they were tied. And the Lord says that this person, particular person, has been has been stagnant for the past six years. But when I screamed and I did, Pah! I saw that chain break, and the Lord spoke from heaven. And I heard his counsel, and he said that the, that the limitation that has plagued your family for the last six, six years. Please close your eyes. Don't type. Just close your eyes and listen. For the past six years, eh, it has broken now, and you shall walk free. Just close your eyes and receive. Don't be in the hurry to type. Forget this typing thing. Let's 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 break some things now. In the next few minutes. Basi, close the chat box. I, I, I need everyone to focus. Just shut down the chat box. This is a sensitive moment. 
is a sensitive moment. Zeklambi ikepola, zai laska shafe, vruteli inde, pantos uvana, uvana bari kela taboga, ai zevleki skifai. And I see a family in the realm of the spirit. But before the Lord showed me your family, he showed me a solution. I saw a dove flying, flying, flying towards that family. And I asked God, why did you show me this prophetic vision? What does this symbol, what does this metaphor, what does this thing signify? The Lord says, I am bringing peace to your home. I'm bringing peace to your home. I'm bringing peace to your home. Peace to your home. You see, right now I began to hear Eniola. 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 I, I don't want to open the chat box now because it's going to get really rowdy. So I don't want to be distracted. But if there's any Eniola here or in your family, I don't know what 71 days time represents for this person. But well, that's what I saw in the realm of the spirit. <laughs> you know, I stayed with my father for about a week and he dropped something strong on my head. Strong. Meanwhile, he didn't come and lay hands. That's well, that was some of you don't know. I understand by the grace and mercy of God how to receive from a man. That is not every time that he will come and lay hands on you. Sometimes that's his ministry. God can take from that well if your heart is open enough and place on you because while my father was me in the last week's um saturday i looked and i said jesus communicate something and as I, I, the lord opened my eyes and i saw a rain falling a rain falling a rain falling and all i saw my father do was communicated and the prophetic was heightened and i dreamt in my dream authority was heightened and that's why I came to the night by the power and the, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I take a Akila Zakai Apu Rakive Zukla Panandi is Gifananda Sire. You see, we're reaching a time where we need to start having physical meetings. Yeah, yeah. Because the kind of demons I'm seeing that are plaguing people, hands that need to be laid for this one. So that the devil can take off his hand. And sons of men can mount up once again. Tell Eniola that on his or her birthday, <laughs> a major chain that has held that one down is broken already. Now is a good time to pray in tongues wherever you are. <laughs> I'm seeing chains breaking up the legs of people. Just begin to, you know how to do match pass. If you have experienced any form of stagnation in or limitation, this is a prophetic instruction. Just begin to raise your legs, and you know when a person when a person was lame, and it begins, and maybe you were prayed for, and they tell you to raise your leg. You know how they raise the leg up, like you're doing match pass in NYC camp. Just raise your legs like that and exercise your legs faith because victory has come, mobility has come. You, yes, yes, yes. Your legs have been lubricated with oil so that you cannot be, become flexible once again. And the thing that has limited you before this period, before now, today, that thing breaks and you have found grace and favor with God and you shall fly again. <laughs> you shall fly again. You shall fly again. I see the ribs of someone, and it's like you are there is a I don't know what is what, what an organ or um Jesus. I don't know what is what this is around your chest. God God is replacing it now by his power. Just if as you put your hand on your chest now and receive by the power, kape leke ruka panade tieke to diga bandi riki skatali akruteki yata soka akriki peanka pa. Receive. Oh, time is fast spent. 
So now this is that period where I'm going to make a general prayer because I see that rain falling again. I see that rain falling again. And the angels are doing all kinds of stuff. So I shall go ahead, the Lord. I saw you in the vision now. And the Lord told me and he said, freshness in your ministry. Freshness. Freshness in your ministry, sir. So the Lord just told me. I saw that rain falling on you particularly. And I saw a stream of revelation began to break out bursts of colors in your spirit. Sasha go at Jaioba, outbursts of colors in your spirit. And the Lord says that freshness has come to your teaching ministry. For you shall speak and instruct nations, says the Lord. Instruct nations. Freshness has come. Has come. Has come. Akapalanda. Zikatai. Zikatapara. Kapara. Kapaka. Utanga. Askatai. Inanda. Askeveveno. Vreki bemengo. Mm, 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 mm. Basi, open the chat box now because I've seen somebody that has a pain on their leg, on their leg, on their leg, and right now the pain is going to go. Right? You are going to confirm it. Oh, you see, the pain is going already. It's going already. It's going already. It's going already by the power of God. That pain on your leg, that pain on your leg is no. I came with a stronger authority that was that is stronger than that one that afflicted your your leg with pain. I said, pain, go. Now check that leg. That pain is gone. Aha! Abdomen, your belly, pain in your stomach. Now hear my voice. Pain, go! I said, go. Satan, release your captives. Release your captives. Palatana kapakata kapai jatendri ite feloka feleki peaka. Ikapana, iskapapananda, apranda, skapapai. I'm seeing all kinds of stuff, but I'm just reading. I'm just asking God to release His power over everyone. Parata kapakon, gida valas katai, ai telo pana. See, I'm seeing an angel. I came with a parcel from heaven. I'm just seeing him walking towards someone. He's walking towards someone now. <laughs> It's coming to place something in your mouth so that you can speak that which God has placed in your spirit. It's coming to give this skill and understanding and give you utterance by the spirit. Yes, it's coming now. It's, it, yes, it's touching your mouth now. Touching your mouth now with the spirit. Aha. For the angel of God, they encamp around them that fear the Lord. <laughs> so we are exempted from attacks. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not come back unto me void, but shall accomplish that so which I have sent it. Yeah, ah, na <laughs> na If you are sitting down now, is a wrong time to be sitting. I need you to stand up and just dance with me. Yeah, for it's a time of victory. It's a time of victory. Yeah, oh, yeah, na 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 na. na 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 Ooh, yeah, na 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 na, <laughs> yeah, na 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 na, aha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ki mane no suma klefan endre ide kovana monia, 
Inene muna, saila muna, kamo, umana kamo, kamo, uvave, uvava vele monkradina veve, uske vele montraki mona, inene muna, skavava mane, ifrate muna, mana nua kwane, en kwa 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 tene munda fia bola katamine. Can you just begin to put your family in the hands of God? Hie na 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 na, hie na 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 na, hie. Hie, hie, oh, hie, na, 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 hie, na, 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 hie, 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 oh, hie, na, 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 hie, na, 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 hie, somebody already had a testimony right now, I can, I can sense it strong in my spirit, you can go ahead and you can share, <laughs> Ie na 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 na, ie na 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 na, ie ie ie, kai, ie na 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 na, ie na 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 na, ie ie ie, ie na 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 na. Ie na 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 na, ie ie ie, ooh 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 Jesus, ooh ie na 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 na, ie. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Jehovah, my daddy, <laughs> I will be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. My daddy, my daddy, <laughs> your baby is singing. <laughs> I will be singing and shouting and dancing for the rest of eternity. Chineke, your baby is singing. For I will be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. <laughs> oh, 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 See, right now the lord is going to begin to anoint a prophet amongst us the lord is anointing a prophet among us for i saw in the spirit a mighty angel with a mighty trumpet and he began to sound it and i looked long and 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 and, and i watched and i saw and the lord says that there is a prophet among us right now that anointing is coming upon you and the sign of that is that you will begin to prophesy right now you begin ah i wish it was a physical meeting you will begin to prophesy right now that's the sign that's the sign that's the sign. That's the sign. That's the sign. That's the sign. That is the sign. You see, some of you are wondering why I've been singing all this while. It's because as I was singing, the Lord began to do stuff. A lot of things began to happen. Okay? And things happened first in the realm of the spirit before they happen in the physical. They happened first in the realm of the spirit before they happen in the physical. I'm seeing 0728. 0728. Who's is that? I don't know if that's somebody's number or 18. I don't know what it is, but 0728. I just saw a flash of that in the spirit. When you confirm, I'll I'll let you know what the Lord is saying. Okay, as I was saying, a lot of activities began to unveil, unveil in the realm of the spirit. Began to unveil. It's you. Okay, what does that what does that mean to you? Who is um on onyeka? Onyeka. What's that? I don't know what that is. What does that mean to you? A lot of things began to unveil, and the Lord told me that between the next seven days, seven to fourteen days, in about two weeks' time, from just this meeting, things will start to unveil. Things will start to unveil. Okay, things will start to unveil. So begin to watch, watch. As long as you have brought your matter before the Lord, things will begin to unveil. 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 
will begin to unveil. Just watch. Just watch and see. Just watch and see. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Here, 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 na, 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 na. Here, na, 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 na. Here, here, here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You see, I'm seeing something that looks like spiritual food, and I'm asking God, what does this mean? And it's symbolic because there is somebody who is listening to me as a path go on a journey, and it's a journey of an instruction that the Lord has given you. You're about to start it. So everybody who right now you're about to start a journey. Maybe God has given you an instruction. I don't know if it's to go on a fast or to start a ministry or to start a work or to start something. I don't know what it is, or maybe you're with your church people. I don't know what it is, but if there is an instruction eh, that God gave you of recent and you are about to begin in the next few days, just signify below in the chats. I want to give you a word from God. It's a very specific word, and I'll pray with you, and then we'll end this meeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Can you be very specific of what you're about to do? So I can be sure that you are the one. Here, na, 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 na. Here, here. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na na na. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 na 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 na, yeah, na 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 na, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha, yeah, na 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 na. Basi, you not told me about this, you know. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for that. Two more people I'm waiting for in my spirit. When I see your message, I will know and I will pray. You see, I'm seeing that vision again. God is has healed leg pain, 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 leg pain. God has healed 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 leg pain. So con um, what's the word now? Confirm it in the chat now. And it is really important that you do. I will not say why. The Lord help us. Here, na 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 na. Here, here, here. Ha. Here, na 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 na. Here, na 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 na. Here, here, here. Here, na 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 na. Yeah, like somebody that has been slated for an, an operation. I don't know if it's and something has to do with your belly. An operation that I don't know if it's an appendix. I don't know what it is, but the Lord said that there shall not be need for that operation. For my power has gone ahead of you and has sealed up that opening. That's what the Lord says, my power has gone ahead of you and has sealed up that opening. And so you will not need that operation. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I seal it up. I command that complication to dry up. And I say that you are made whole now, now by the power of God. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Okay, Nico. Aha. All right. I had leg pains when I got back from work. Called my sister to help me and rub. And no more pains now. That's the person I've been waiting for. Someone, can you just celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus? You see, God is so benevolent tonight. <laughs> you can ask him for uh, you can actually ask him for anything as long as it pertains to his purpose for your life ask him for anything right now god is distributing stuff tonight that's why i've not ended this meeting I've, this is not my meeting it's the lord's meeting <laughs> <laughs> you see there's somebody that just celebrated that miracle now and there is a pain on your body that the lord is healing right now yes 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 touch that place touch that place touch that part of your body touch it whether it be your hand touch it touch it touch it touch it now lord in the name of jesus we rebuke that pain on that body and we command that the healing is permanent the healing is permanent even that one that has a headache constant migraines and it was so bad about two days ago the lord says no more never again healed forever permanently Pate, rute, peleki, power. healed forever check your body and share your testimony with us here here oh i there is a healing river flowing tonight. Here, na, 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 na. There's somebody that you were once a dreamer, dreaming and seeing the Lord's, you know, operations in your dreams, or your dreams closed. And the Lord says that even now you have come into a new season for your dreams have opened up again, and you shall dream again. Yeah, my prophet. <laughs> That's what the Lord calls you. For you shall dream again yeah you died when your prayer life died so now you they have received you have received grace you have received grace you have received grace you have received grace and your dream are uh, restored your dream life is restored once more so what the lord says <laughs> even the ear pain gone <laughs> Alla no freke pona mandina, freke da fele mona kwa no maka faniane, iske fane dradive, uwa kwa kwa ke fene umbra teni krata nona. <laughs> Arande mona frani mondre anina kravadiano, samane na teno kafa mona saila kufa, saila kufa mina krate nendru deve na koma kamo. Someone who is here, you are 26 years old and your mother has an illness. The Lord says that that illness is gone forever. Lord, just like you have said, I rebuke that. that oh, okay. There's another testimony. Jesus is doing things. <laughs> Jesus is doing things. Had a really bad headache and you are healed. You see, you are healed forever. 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 Because Jesus has touched you. And not only are you healed, the Lord has even left a deposit of the healing anointing on you and says you should go and pray for people around you who are sick too start with your family members and it will begin to grow and the grace shall grow and grow until the little stream becomes a large ocean says the lord all right i just saw a vision of that lady that said earlier on that she wants to have that she, she feels the lord is telling her to have a city wide music concert i don't know if something like that something like that i just saw, just the lord just reminded me of you now and i'm just going to pray with you because um that's the plan of god all right it's the plan of god it's the plan of god and the lord says that there is need for more capacity building there is need let me just try and scroll up to find that uh message oh this is two hours time has really gone we have to close now we have to close now man guys we need to have a physical meeting all right we need i don't know about you but we need to 
That's for those of you who are in Lagos. Anyway, we need to have one major meeting before the end of this year. One. One. And I'm looking at maybe a maximum of 30 people. So it's not going to be seriously publicized. But I don't know yet. Anyway, we'll just ask the Lord for direction. Where is this message? Um, Citywide. Is it worship festival? Okay. <clears throat> An instruction to organize a city, organize a worship festival in my state. Aha. Okay. Okay, let, let's see now. So from the first person that mentioned um that was favor, he said I should spend four hours with him every day before I return to school. So favor, yes, yes. Woo! Favor, obey that instruction. The Lord has shown you mercy <laughs> i'm the one that you have shown mercy lord you have shown me mercy oh it's a song like that i'm the one that you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me thank you holy ghost because you have shown favor and mercy Aha, I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Oh, 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 oh. that you have shown mercy. Lord, you have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Oh. If you can believe now, God is still doing things. He said this tonight is a, is a night of distributions. He's just giving out stuff, quickening gifts, re-enabling lost callings, quote unquote, lost anointings. That's how you would understand it. <laughs> the Lord is quickening again. He's quickening again. He's quickening again. All right, so favor the Lord has shown you mercy. Receive grace to obey that instruction. The Lord said to me not to watch movies for 14 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much more than that, you need to, I'm, I can send that you also need to, in that 14 days, if you can fast, fast, right? You can break by three, you can break by six, you can break by nine, all right? Um, that's for Nena Eze, because got, God is about to launch you into a new season. I'm seeing somebody whose birthday is something around 18 days from now, or some, some, some around that period, sure. Not too long, about, about 18 days or thereabout from now. So Nena is it? That's what the Lord is saying. Um, if you can fast, in fact, not if you can, please fast. If you are somebody who I mentor directly, I'd have told you fast. Okay, but if I don't mentor somebody, I'm not quick to give you instructions because you have the right to disobey. But anyway, uh, yeah. Your birthday is on the twenty third. Is that eighteen days from now? Somebody should help me do a math. I don't know. Just help me do a math, quick mathematics. Eighteen days from now is. Let me look at my calendar quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen days from now is twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Meanwhile, I'm still gonna pray for you, Isaiah. All right, but let's see. If we cannot find somebody who is in eighteen days, then I mean it's obvious that I missed that word. I'll just pray for you and we'll go ahead. <laughs> So I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Oh. I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. Shown me mercy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. All right, so then that is it. Yeah. What the Lord is saying, fast with prayers. Don't also be on social media. It's not just movies, okay? And then I'm just helping you read the scrolls where that instruction came from. Uh, yeah. So a week of prayer and fasting, or in consola. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a deposit in your spirit that God wants to release. He wants you to discover and walk in. All right, a deluge of grace. 
in your spirit that God wants you to discover and walk in. I'm seeing something about a writing skill that God wants to hone. It was to be, be powered by revelation. And that's for in controller. An instruction was given for a citywide music concert. And this will be in 14 days' time. Lord, uh, your servant has obeyed an instruction from you. We ask, Lord, that even right now, from the bounties of heaven, where there is eternal and endless supply, let uh, release your angels, release resources, release men. Let the land open up and favor Basi in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a brother listening to me, and I'm oh my God. Please do not confirm in the chat box, okay? I can see that there is an issue. Oh, this is a very sensitive. I don't used to like boys. You are yeah. There is the, the power of God anyway. Does not really mind because God wants to heal you. There is a problem with your reproductive organ. All right, with your manhood. Let me just be, be straightforward. It's what I just saw in the vision. Text me privately. I will pray for you. A man, please. A man. It's a man that I saw. Okay, it was a very specific vision. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, Basi, the Lord's hand is upon you. So, you know, we, we would have our group chat. We would um, stand with you there. Don't worry. The Lord laid this in my heart to pray heavily and fast for at least two to three days in a week for the days to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a restoration that the Lord is bringing to your life, Mr. Daniel. A restoration that the Lord is bringing to your life, Mr. Daniel. And hence, that which the Lord has asked you to do and uh, receive grace to stay. Fast of 21 days, T, T, T. Is this T? Is this Tadeni Kao or something? I, 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 have we spoken before? I just checked your photo now. It seems like we've spoken before. But whatever the case is, go ahead. Um, go ahead. Also, for the personal retreat, that's for Miriam. Yeah. You are also receiving the. Okay. A call to fast. In and out, I promise you, I'm just seeing this reply. <laughs> I honestly did not see it before. I'm just seeing it now. That you replied to yourself. So you have your word. God bless you. Dolakbo, an instruction to fast and study, a personal retreat with him to organize a worship festival. All right, so Lord, according and consistent to what you showed me, you showed me spiritual food. And that means that these persons who are about to embark on the journey, whom you are the sole instigator of, uh, we ask, Lord, that you provide them with supply as you have proposed in your spirit. Give them help, energy, for the journey is great. Like the Elijah ate of the angel's bread. Give them strength, Jesus, to navigate this path and to do your will. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Oh, Holy Ghost, thank you. All right, Nicole. I would like to work with you on this year. I don't mean I didn't say work, oh no. I mean W A L K. That's pray along with you and confirm some things while you go ahead to do what God has asked you to do. That's what I mean by that. It's just an I don't it's an instruction that I have. So please text me privately. Not on Telegram. My telegram is actually full. I don't I, I, I can't reply here. I won't see. But I think Twitter or Instagram can work. Basically, please help me post the link to my Instagram bio right here. Uh, um, let me see. Lord, am I missing out anything? Lord, thank you for all the testimonies. They are all great because you did them. We give you praise and we give you glory. We give you great praise and we give you great glory. Guys, keep praying for me that the healing anointing on my life will grow. Even as I reach out to the people of God to bring healing to men and to nations. Okay, awesome, awesome. I think there's a feedback you're supposed to give me today. If you are the one I chatted with on um, a while back concerning stuff. You are done with the party days and you've, and you've not been on here for the past two to three weeks. It's been from one conference to another. Kenny, I don't want to ask you to send me a message from Twitter. I sent you the link to this platform. Okay, where's my brother with the birthday? Let's pray for you. That's 23rd. 
I'll, me, I would need to go back and pray and ask God for more of what that 18 days. Since the last, like I explained to you, since that my impartation, the prophetic has gone. Jesus. Yesterday I was in the car. It's strong now. And it's obviously not for me. It's for you guys. It's for the body of Christ, for the world. I was in a car yesterday. I just, and was, you know, working with Apostle Arame, you will not really sleep like that. <laughs> you have to be up and doing. All right. I was in a car and we were going somewhere with Mama, Apostle's wife. And I just fell asleep because I've not really slept so much. I just fell asleep and I slept, I fell asleep three times. And in those three times, I, I left the car and I was in conversations that people were having. I left the car and I came to one place. I won't say it in case somebody here knows that place. And I heard what somebody was saying. And the guy, Jesus, I I, I slept again and it opened in, in my in, in my spirit, my eyes opened and I heard, I don't want to go into details, but the kind of things that happened, oh my God. I left there again and there is a lady that I, I, I know, but I've not really spoken in, you know, a short while. And I went to meet her and then, Jesus, God gave me a word for her. Not just a word as by a, a word. I it was literally there. You know that thing that happened with Elisha in the Bible where he was in the king's chamber hearing the secret discussions? That's what was happening. That's what was happening. Okay. You used to have... Wait, okay, that means you're not the person I asked to send me that message. Um... All right, you said you're going to go on the 40 days. Lord bless you. Lord keep your, your son, your daughter. I don't know who is this is Kenny. Lord keep your child. Keep your child. Bless your child. We strengthen you in the name of Jesus. We strengthen you. I join my faith with every baby on this platform. And we strengthen you. We strengthen you. We strengthen you. We strengthen you in the spirit of love and the spirit of power. We strengthen you and say that the Lord himself holds you by his hand, gives you great strength. We walk with you and we declare that by the corporate faith of the house, you are delivered from the snare of the fowler. That by the corporate faith of this house, you are brought out from every attack. Uh, that the enemy has sought to bring your way. By the corporate faith of this house, I declare that all that is con that is written concerning your destiny that has hence before now been closed. Let the books be opened and let your life open up again. For I see the Lord planting trees and I see them grow. And the Lord said, I should tell you that you have come into a new season of fruitfulness. And I announce as a prophet of God that that which the Lord has spoken shall be in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Amen. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you. See you guys again. A um, couple of days. Meanwhile, my birthday is um, on the 10th of October. So, <laughs> the Lord help you. All right, over to you, Jessica. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much, sir, for today's session. It was amazing. So let's for now let's begin to thank God for tonight's session for the school of the prophet, from the word to the prayers to the prophecies to everything God did. Let's begin to thank God, worship Him in tongues, and like Sabasi has said before, be intentional about it. Don't just mutter in tongues. Let's begin to worship Him. And thank him for this session tonight. It was wonderful. We saw his hand. We saw his blessings. We saw his assurance. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so a few announcements. First of all, as usual, we'll have our prayers morning hour 9 p.m. every night. And then, the amazing announcement. You remember that we, we've we told you about the Whispers of Fire in previous times. So now the second edition of the Whispers of Fire is available. It's available on our seller. So we'll share the link with you shortly. 
so you can access the books and read them the whispers of fires are amazing instructions inspired by god and given through our apostles our elvis so we'll send the link to you on the group chat and you access it and enjoy every ministration god has given there for you so thank you for attending tonight's session see you again 9 p.m every day have a lovely night everyone